Hello, my name is Emily Rose and I teach tarot readers and the mystically minded to read Lenormand like they're talking to a friend. And today we are here to learn everything you need to know about the moon card in Lenormand. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, when it comes to the moon card in Lenormand, this is one that I see kind of misunderstood a lot of times by those that read tarot, and it's one of the easiest ones to kind of mix up. So the main distinction between the moon in Lenormand versus the moon in tarot is that the moon in Lenormand does not mean hidden. It that would be the book card. So you want to look for the book card for something that's secret or hidden. In Lenormand, the, the moon can actually mean a little bit of the opposite. It can represent recognition or attraction if you think about the moon's kind of magnetic pull that it has. So the moon can actually be recognition, attraction, things like that, but it does not represent hidden. The moon tends to be a card that I get asked about a lot, and that is because there are many different interpretations for the moon. And the main question I get asked is, how do I know what the moon means? And my answer is almost always, what is your question? What is your context? You always want to go back to the context of your question to determine what the moon means for each given situation. Some key words associated with the moon card are recognition or attraction. If you think about the magnetic pull of the moon, as we talked about, another key word associated with it is dreams or dreaming. And one way I see the moon coming up a lot is what do you want? What are you hoping for? What are you daydreaming about? So that's another meaning for the moon. Another meaning for the moon is emotions. This could show um, emotional states. And another meaning you can attribute to the moon is intuition. So that is kind of, if you're a tarot reader, you're probably used to intuition being associated with the moon. In tarot, you can bring that over to the moon in Lenormand. Just make sure that you are not um, putting hidden or secret and attaching that to the moon meaning. If we're in a work context and we're asking about the line of work someone is in, typically with the moon, I tend to see this as um, counseling, psychiatry, or someone who is in the intuitive arts, like a Lenormand or tarot reader or someone like that. So it can refer to that. This can also refer um, to advertising. If you think about like attraction, recognition, things like that. So it can refer to that line of work as well. In general, it can also show just getting recognition or praise, accolades, things like that for the work that you are already doing. Another interpretation for it could be like a dream job that you might have or some type of some type of work that you're doing that you've been dreaming about, like something you're excited to do. If we are in a love context, this is where the moon tends to represent romance in some way, some type of attraction. I kind of think of this as like the chemical attraction that two people have for one another. There's usually not a rhyme or reason to it. It's just some people have chemistry and some people don't. So I see the moon kind of referring to that chemistry or um, that attraction that they have. This can also show like, you know, a romantic kind of energy or setting in some way as well. So when the moon comes up, it's, it's romance, baby. If we are in a health context, this is where the moon can be a little tricky. You're going to want to look to surrounding cards. On one hand, this could represent kind of female reproduction in some way. So like menstrual cycle, things like that. Another thing it can represent is emotional states, especially when it's next to the clouds or something like that. Then I tend to see that as having emotional issues that could contribute to depression, um, things like that. So you want to really look to your surrounding cards for any hints about um, which one it's referring to, but those are kind of the two main realms that the moon tends to dabble in when it comes to health. If you would like to learn even more about the moon card, I do have a page dedicated to it with sample card combinations and example spreads. 
And if you would like to dig into Lenormand even more, I do have a free three lesson mini course, which you can take at emilyrosedivination.com slash mini course. And in this course, I give you a workbook and you work through establishing a daily practice and the journal pages will walk you through it as well. Thank you so much for joining me and I can't wait to see you next time.